Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dima Crawley coming with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the King's Rock and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. This is a post-game event, so you need to have beaten the Elite Four in order to do it. And it will require two Pokemon battles. Not really that difficult, but I still recommend having a decent team. They're going to be facing off against some level 60s. So it's actually just going to be here on the very first island at the trainer school. So you can either fly to the Pokemon Center or you can fly home. But you got to come in here to the trainer school. And you're going to go in through this first set of doors and you're going to go all the way up to the third floor. And then from here, you're going to head on over to the left. Previously, this guy wouldn't let you through. but Or he'd tell you to go away or whatever. But now he's going to say that we're going to grow stronger. So now he's going to tell us to battle him so he's just gonna have two Pokemon as you can see he's a black belt and uh, he is gonna have the fighting type Pokemon so as long er, so for his first guy if you want to have some fairy a psychic type a flying type whatever it might be a ghost type as well so you see level 56 so not that high if you beat the elite four this shouldn't be that high of a level so gonna have to take out this guy really quick and then you can see a second one's a hair cross I'm gonna pull a switch here flying types are really really nice against hair cross against both of them really fairy flying psychic whichever fightings are strong but they got a decent amount of common weaknesses now so this air slash should one shot Air slash one shot should one shot. Nice tongue twister. All right. So after this, he's gonna go ahead and let us go through the door. And so and he and I don't and Sun and Moon, you couldn't get into this room. But here there's gonna be another person that we're gonna be able to talk to, and she's actually the principal. So. She's gonna tell us to, or she thinks she can still teach us something. So we'll see if that's still possible. We're gonna go ahead and battle her. She's got three Pokemon as well. She's gonna lead with the Grand Bull. This should be easy pickings for my Gengar. So uh, she don't lead with a physical attacker here because of the Intimidate. Sludge Bomb should easily do the trick. All right. Next up, what are we gonna face? Arcanine. All right. I also have something that can easily take on this Arcanine. And yet another Intimidate user. So luckily, let's so bring those special attackers. My water pulse. Okay, it's gonna just go for the outrage. Not gonna do much, and my water pulse should easily pick up the knockout here. All right. And last but not least, is gonna be a Stoutland. So, yet another intimidate user. She just got the triple intimidate users essentially. So. I mean, I just brought in a physical attacker, but just keep that in mind. You don't want to, or you're not going to keep the same Pokemon in against all of these. So go ahead, hit him up with the cross chop. All right, one more should do the trick. All right. Let me just go ahead. I don't want to miss with Cross Chop, so Darkest Lariat should do the trick. Nice spinnies. Alright. So, three Intimidate users. Keep your eye out for that. But, as you saw, pretty smooth battle, all in all. So now she's going to go ahead and talk to us a little bit. And she's going to give us one of her favorite items, which just so happens to be the King's Rock. And... That's pretty much all she's that's all she's really good for here. If we talk to her again, she's not gonna say anything. So 
Oh, see, okay. Yeah, see. So, and that's pretty much that. So, that's the only thing you can do up here with this room. And that's how you get the King's Rock. So, uh, that, that's pretty much going to be it. If you guys got any questions, feel free to let me know. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.